welcome everyone so today i'm going to show you how to find the fifth root of such a big number okay so the number given over here is 696 six, sorry 6956883693 so this looks quite a big number okay and we have to find out what is the fifth root of this answer okay so here one thing which everybody knows or one thing which is given to us about this particular question is the answer for this one is a natural number Okay, so here, this is not a, a decimal number nor a irrational number. No, it's a proper natural number. Means it's whatever number we get over here, the fifth power of that number gets you this particular answer. Okay, so I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. So now let's understand how to solve these kind of questions. So the first thing is we need to count. How many digits are there? Okay, so here, if you look closely, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, number of digits we are getting is 10. So, here we just first figure out whether, whether the answer of this one has 2 digits or 3 digits. Okay, so for that, what we'll do is, <coughs> we'll first figure out how many digits happen when you have 10 raised to 5. So 10 raised to 5, you get 1 and how many zeros? 5 zeros. Right? So that gets you how much total digit number is 6. Okay? For 10, 100 raised to 5, what you get? You have 1 and 10 zeros. Right? Oh, 3, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means we, here we are having 11 digits. So now this gets a bit uh, close but obviously it is lesser than 10. 11 is obviously greater than 10 and 6 is lesser than 10. So by default since we already know the answer for this one is a proper number, proper natural number means this number will be less than 100. Okay so here by default I can say that here we will just have only two digits two digits as a part of our answer okay i hope this is very very clear to every one now students see this is the most difficult part to understand how many digits are there are going to be there in your answer okay now since we figured out we are going to put let's take two variables a will be your tens place and b will be your units place now, let's first try and understand whether, what will be the value of B. Okay, we'll try and understand what will be the value of B. So, here, if you see, the last digit is an odd number. So, by default, <coughs> B can either have 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Okay, all of these values B can have. Now what we'll do is we'll raise, raise each of these numbers to powers, okay? So here we'll start with n equals to 1. Then we'll see n equals to 2, n equals to 3, n equals to 4 and then n equals to n equals to 5. So for whatever number the last digit comes out to be 3, okay? That will be the answer at least on the fifth row, last row, okay? Why? Because we are trying to find the fifth power. Okay, I hope this is very, very clear. Okay, so now understand. 1 raised to anything will always be 1. So, this is directly cancelled. Okay, and 5 raised to anything is also 5. Now, if you look at 9, 9 raised to 1 is 9. 9 raised to 2 is 81. Okay, so the last digit is 1. Then the third, 9 raised to 3 is 7, 29. So, again 9. Then obviously, this is a cycle. Right? So, by default, I can say 9 also goes away because here also this will be 1 and 9. I don't want the last digit to be 9. I want the last digit to be 3. Okay, so now let's look at 7. So 7 raised to, 7 raised to 1 is 7. 7 raised to 2 gets you 49. So last digit is 9. 7 raised to 3 gets you 343. So that is 3 is the last digit. Then the next digit is 3 into 7. Well, 7 raised to 4, when whatever you answer you get, the last digit will be 3 into 7, right? So, 3 into 7, you get 21. So, the last digit in that case becomes 1. Then again, 7 raised to 5. Means 7 raised to 4 has the last digit of 1. 
So now seven raised to five will be multiplied. The last digit will one will be multiplied by seven. So here you will get seven. So again this goes away. So by default three has to be the answer. But let's check. Okay. So three raised to one is three. Three raised to two is nine. Three raised to three is twenty seven. Three raised to four is eighty one. And three raised to five is two forty three. So three is my last digit. So now we have understood. That value of B has to be just three. Okay, I hope this is very very clear to every one. Okay, so here what I can do is instead of this B, I'll directly put the value of B, which is three. Okay, now your job is to find the value of A. So let's understand how will we find the value of A. Now please understand, students, how, what is the power we we are trying to find. Fifth root we are trying to find. So what we'll do is we'll cancel five digits from your right. So that gets one, two, three, four, five. So now you have something like this: six, nine, five, six, eight. Okay. So understand. Here we'll try to find the value of a in such a way that the answer of this is very is close to this, but it is not greater than six. Sixty nine thousand five hundred and sixty eight. It cannot be greater. It can be smaller. It can be closer to it. Okay. So what we'll do is see. First we'll try to find two raised to five. So now two raised to five itself is a very small number, thirty two. So here by default I can say that this is too small. I don't need to, you know. Uh, so by default this two goes away, right? Next what we can do is you now two raised to five itself is very small. Two raised to three we understood that it was two forty three. So that is also gone, right? So now let's try and see what will be um, five raised to five. Let's try. So five raised to five can be written as what? Five raised to three into five raised to two. Those of you who don't know, it's a raised to m into a raised to n. It can be written as a raised to m plus n. So basically, when you actually summarize this, you add the indices, which is three plus two, which gets you five. Okay, so. Here, what we have is one twenty-five into twenty-five. Okay, so now understand. Let's do this on this page. So one five raised to five we are doing, which is one twenty-five into twenty-five. Now please understand, this is a hack which I want everyone to remember. Whenever you want to multiply any number by twenty-five, all you have to do is just add two zeros in front of it and divide this number by four. Basically, what have I done is that. I have multiplied the entire number by four and divided it by four. Now what happens is one twenty five into four gets you what hundred. So that's why I put two zeros instead of just one twenty five, or I just put two zeros ahead of one twenty five. And when I cancel this, I get the answer as three one two five. So again, this is also very very small. Then sixty nine thousand five hundred and sixty eight. So by default, I can say five raised to five also doesn't work. So now let's try. Um, let's try eight raised to five. Again, eight raised to five can be written as what? Um, five. Sorry, my bad. Eight raised to three into eight raised to two, which gets you five one two into sixty four. Okay. So basically, I can you know uh, do this. I can make this five twenty. I'm rounding it off into sixty. Okay, so your answer comes out to be double zero. Six into two gets you how much? Twelve one carry. So thirty one thousand. Very similar, close to thirty one thousand two hundred. Again, that is like literally half, less than half of sixty nine thousand. So now let's see for nine raised to five. By default, we should have ticked nine raised to five by now. Because that is the only option left, okay? Because they have already told us this has to be a proper number, natural number, okay? But since I'm explaining, let's do this. So this will be what nine cube into nine square. That gets you what seven twenty nine into eighty one. That gets you seven thirty. I'm just rounding it off into eighty. So gets you double zero four two carry so fifty eight. This is closer to sixty nine thousand five hundred and sixty eight. Now please understand. If you think that this is not right, you can go ahead and check for hundred raised to five, which we've already done. And hundred raised to five is much much bigger than 
69,500 and sorry 10 raised to 5 my bad sorry 10 raised to 5 if you do then when you do that I'll just explain this one more time over here so uh, if if not 1 if not 9 because if you think that this number is very small or it's very far from 69,000 let's try 10 raised to 5 that gets you how much 1 and how many zeros 5 zeros so you're getting this as 1 lakh so obviously this is much ahead of 69,500 and like I said when we were discussing the value of A it has to be smaller smaller than 69,568 okay so by default I can say value of A has to be 9 okay so here So here I can say value of A has to be 9. So here instead of A we will write 9. So 93 is the answer for this particular question. So, so those of you who understood very well if you don't know then I have also made a separate video on something very similar there I am finding a 7th root of a smaller number okay. So you can go ahead and check that out as well okay. So that's it for today I will see you in the next video.